Hi. The last time we talked about making a cardboard pin cushion, we were looking primarily just at the felt. At that time, I mentioned also using fabric. Even with fabric doubled over, if it is a lightweight cotton, it still doesn't give you much cushion for adding pins or needle. So, to add to that, we're going to actually use two pieces of the felt and a piece of fabric and of course cardboard this time to create again a cardboard pin cushion for students or people who don't sew on a regular basis a place you can park pens or you can park your needle I've used two colors here simply because sometimes if I'm using one color like the last video, I used black and it was also black on the thread. Maybe hard certainly for people to see on a camera, even though I might be able to see it myself when I use it. So we're actually going to work on making this little cardboard pin cushion. It can be used for students, uh, anyone who don't have a tendency to do a lot of sewing, just need a place to park your needle or park your pins without having to have a huge pin cushion. And again, it can be tucked away or put away either in a baggie or an old wallet or something. So let's look at this. You will need, of course, hot glue gun. You can use some uh, perhaps other glue. You just want to be sure that your center parts do not have glue on them on either side. Otherwise, you won't be able to get your needles in or your pens through it. So let's look at this. We're going to use a very similar card that I had the last time. Remember, you can also use any type of cardboard that you have. Uh, could be from a box, a box top, or anything like that. And I've already pre-cut a couple of pieces of the felt the right size. It can be larger, and you can uh, glue around that. So, to get this started, we're going to add a little bit of glue again on our corners. This time, I'm adding it on all four corners and I'm going to place the piece of felt on top of that and press it down now before I flip it over to put this piece on I've actually cut this piece a little bit larger and if you can see the size is a lot different but this is going to be folded down to give us a little bit better cushion when it comes to putting a needle or something in that. So we're going to flip it over. And I've left some space around the edges. It doesn't have to be that large around your edges. However, we're going to glue those down as well. So we're going to glue the first two sides down. And remember, you just pull it over and press it down on each side. Now it's easy to fold these two ends just in. However, the problem is, of course, you get some of these little peaks that are sticking out. To avoid that happening, just take the end of this and fold it in to the card area and put a little piece of glue up under that and do the same thing on all four sides. So we're going to do that just with a speck of glue and press that down. We're going to do this side again with just a little bit of glue and we're going to press that in and let that stick in. Then we're going to fold these pieces in. So we're going to come up Ooh, they kind of burned. So if you're not used to using a hot glue gun, um, just be careful when you do use one. I would suggest for people who don't use glue guns that often to consider using a low temperature gun. This particular gun has two different temperatures on it. It's actually on high right now. It should have it on low. So uh, low is usually for smaller projects 
uh, something that doesn't require a lot of glue to uh, to work your project with. So we're folding this over just to have it hold in place. So as you can see, we've tilted those in. And we're coming back to add a little bit of glue across these areas. And then we're going to fold this in right along the edge of the little card or cardboard. So we've got sort of a little picture frame thing going there. None of this has to be even on the back because we're getting ready to cover that up. That's going to get covered with this piece of felt. And remember, you're not going for perfection but for function. Now, this again is going to need some glue going around the edges of it. You want to keep the center of it again as free of glue as you can so that when you put your pins or needle in, you have some space and you won't be hitting hard glue up under that. So as you can see, we now have a mini cardboard pin cushion great for schools, great for teaching. As you can see on here, which is different than this one where I cut two sections to hook the thread in. Here I've wrapped the thread around multiple times and at the end I let a piece of thread go long way around and just wrap it up under the needle. That way when it's time for me to use it I can see where that needle is, I can pull the thread out, and I can start unraveling this thread, and it's usable all over again. I would just keep unwrapping the thread until I have it all off. You don't want to pull the needle out too quick, otherwise that's going to create a knot for you. Hope you enjoyed that. A little small tutorial to do. These also make nice little gifts, particularly too if you're traveling um, versus buying one of those uh, travel kits. It's a good opportunity to just have something that you throw in your purse or in the glove compartment uh, in case someone needs to have uh, something mended and you already have your thread ready and available. Have a great day.